Ho, 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 and ding, dong, merrily. Well, are we ready, everybody? What can I do except apologise to all of you for the lateness of my arrival? Little tardy, nothing I could do about that. Absolutely beyond my control, I say. So there we are. Sincere apologies for the fact that we are a bit late in starting. Everything was working fine up until the start of the programme, and then it decided to stop working fine. But there we are. What do you do about that? Gary Cross and Gordon Hay, Gavin McCoy, a very Merry Christmas, Scotty, and to you, sir, Dinky Doo, Steve Burrows, Gordon Cruden. Gordon, thank you very much for your helpfulness at the start there. David Fraser, Jim Stephen Gibb. Hi, Scotty from Dublin, says Gordon Ritchie. Fantastic stuff. Ron Stewart, Ben Hodgson, Alec Robertson. I thank you all for your patience and for your forbearance. Hello, Scotty. Dinky do a very good Christmas to you, says Gary Crossan. Were you caught in Santa traffic? I think probably it was Santa traffic. Get it? You know, but internet traffic. So there we are. Do you have any Christmas jokes, please? I have stacks and stacks of them. When I was uh, purchasing my Santa hat, it said, keep away from the fire. And I thought to myself, that doesn't bode well for the big man himself when he's coming down the chimney. Louise Gemmel, Douglas William Bryce. Good evening, Scotty. <coughs> Better late than never, says Steve Burrows. I think so, Steve. I think it was worth waiting for. Jim Cook is here. Merry Christmas, Scotty, says Stephen Menzies. Lovely to have you all with us. What a great week it's been. Uh, last Sunday night, we had a technical problem, and show number 61 did not stay with us. It broadcast all right, but it didn't stay with us. If anyone's got a copy of show number 61, do get it to me. But we've had 62, 63, 64, 65... 66 on Friday, and this is show number 67. Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, live on Christmas Eve, just for you with our Christmas Eve special. Loving the hat, Scotty, says Mark. It's replaced the bullet. And uh, hi, Scotty, from Kuala Lumpur, says Liam Smith. Dinky doo, Liam. What on earth are you doing in Kuala Lumpur? Or should I not ask? Hi, Scotty, you're looking... For Christmas. Ivan Cohen's watching Ben for Sakhali. Excellent. Merry Christmas, Scotty, says David Mortimer. Kevin Roberts, good evening, Scotty. And a very Merry Christmas to you. Dinky do a shout out to Erin and Isla, says Ron. Merry Christmas, absolutely, Ron. Thank you to every single one of you for all your support over the year, for all your generosity, for your kindness, for your gifts, your gifts of your presence. Some of you, your gifts of pennies to help build the show. Thank you for that. John Anderson's watching Dinky Doo, John George Scott, Ivor Timson and Kenny Gray. Are you singing some Christmas songs? I might well be, although we do have to watch the music with the copyright, you see. Um, Alfred James Wright, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Scotty McClue, just for you, live on Facebook Live, the big one, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. Please share and share and share everything. You'll see all the programs up there, and there's been a good few thousand people have joined us this week. So there you are. You're looking well. I hope you're coming down my chimney, says Mark Simpson. Thank you very much, Mark. Robert McCurdy, um, bring it on. Scotty, my man, says Jav Salim. Jav Dinky Do. did you survive the shops the other night? And um, I hit the shops this afternoon at about 3.30. Uh, Merry Christmas, Scotty. And to all you live watchers, I'm wrapping the prezies, my man, says Jav. Excellent stuff, Jav. Get these prezies wrapped up, I say. Am I bright enough? Can you see me, folks? Have we got enough light? Merry Christmas from the Blaine, Mick Simon. I'm having a drum in your honour, says Mick. Thank you, Mick. Very much appreciated, because I haven't touched a drop for two years tomorrow. What about that? Scotty, I got a fright. I thought it was Boris there for a minute, says Ian. Hello, Ian Dinky Doo. Roddy Morrison's watching. Welcome, Roddy. Lovely to have you with us. Ben Fasakhali, a Merry Christmas to your family and your thousands of fans. Millions of fans. In fact, billions of fans. 
you know. When everything's working well, we've got 1.8 billion people can apparently see us on... Um, does that look better? Yes, I think I'll bring that lamp over. Apparently 1.8 billion people uh, on, on uh, Facebook. Isn't that amazing? Fantastic. So there you are. Uh, John Dunsmore, dinky do, just dropping in to say Merry Dinky do. Have a wonderful Christmas, says Jim Robin in Canada. Dinky do to you, Jim. We must have a catch up at some point. Uh, Scotty, you're not doing a pantomime. Do you mean at the moment or in general? So there we are. Ho, 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 boys and girls. So there you are. And um, that sort of voice. You're the man, says Jav. So are you, Jav. And uh, Andrew Kerr, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty, the McClue, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. It's our Christmas Eve special. Dinky-doo to every single one of you. Lovely to have you with us. What goes on? Oh, ho, ho, Santa. Walking backwards, so there you are, Martin Park, Dinky Doo. Now uh, we're a bit late in starting. Circumstances way beyond my control. The little app decided to um, to um, pitch it in, to chuck it in, just on nine o'clock. Marvelous stuff. Thank you for that app. We did a discussion like the old days of Scott FM. Have one, Gordon. Come on. And have a discussion, for goodness sake. Let's hear from you. Stephen Horsper is watching. Callum Murray, dinky-doo. Uh, Merry Christmas from Australia, says Ali Haining. I love it. We are truly global, a global program. And we are worldwide. We are in Oz. A festive dinky-doo to Scotty and the gang, says John O'Rourke. Thank you. And thank you again to every single one of you for being with us and for waiting with us. I hope... You like the guard? It's, uh, I've got my own special tiara here as well. So there you are. None of your nonsense. Uh, can you say happy birthday to my mum, Mary? Says Stephen Menzies, who's 71 today and getting the internet put in, especially to join the great show. Well, thank goodness. I hope she wasn't too disappointed at 9 o'clock tonight, because I certainly was. I can tell you that for nothing. I'm just going to move some of this stuff here. We're surrounded by equipment. You can't beat it, can you? So there we are. I'm going to see if I can get you a little bit more light. Is that better, guys? Looks as if we had a wee touch of the shadow there. Uh, tell me how that... How's that? Oh, there's Santa for you. Is that better? Um, I did my best bit of Christmas shopping earlier. So there are two pints of milk, 30 loaves of bread, because the shops are shut for a day. So Steve Burroughs, I know. People go stockpiling, don't they? And they don't really need it. You see them with a trolley piled right up to the top. You think it's only a day, for goodness sake. Uh, Kelly Harvey's watching. Excellent to have you with us. Daniel Watt. Dinky-doo, Daniel Watt. I hope you're starting to talk a bit of sense. Uh, so there we are. Elizabeth and Philip um, never, ever say a word against you. So I hope you never say a word against them. Councillor Henry Anderson's watching. Dinky-doo. Uh, what do three hoes get you? Says Gavin. I don't know, Gavin. You need... To tell us, so there we are. I love your tiara, Scotty. This is kind of great. Yes, it's got to go back in the safe after the show, of course. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, John McIntyre, McIntyre's watching. Dinky do, John McIntyre, McIntyre. What a wonderful name to have. Uh, a very merry Christmas to you and yours, Scotty. Dinky do, mate, says Rich Kent. How lovely is that? What are you doing for Christmas, says Kenny Gray? I'm going to have a, a lovely, lovely Christmas dinner. I've got cranberry. Um, stuffing. So there we are. So that should be rather nice. And uh, if you'll pardon the expression. And uh, also, uh, we've got a ham, believe it or not. So there are beautiful honey roast ham and some sprouts. So there you are, some potatoes, some sprouts, honey roast ham, and um, a little bit of cranberry stuffing. And, uh, and that's it, really. I think we'll finish off with maybe a bag of crisps and a snowball. Um, so there we go. And Neil Tipping, happy Christmas, Scotty. All you need now is a beard. Yes, I should have got the beard, you know. Oh, oh. There we go. Excellent stuff. Do you think Theresa May will see 2018 out? Or will the backstabbers and the Tory party win? Says Alfred James Wright. Well, obviously, I don't have a crystal ball, Alfred James Wright. So, uh, you know, I couldn't tell you exactly. I would think they will leave her in so that she takes the hit. Do you see what I mean? And then when it becomes absolutely unbearable, or 
it looks as if one of the backstabbers might be uh, it might be safe enough for the backstabbers to take her place then that's when the knives will come out and um, one of them will move in so there you go but uh, if you think about it uh, you know one or two of the backstabbers they seem to have nine lives or two lives but you know one of them got away with it once but they'll never ever be trusted wholly again these people you know backstabbers never are um i've uh, met a couple in my life i've never ever ever done it myself but i've met a couple in my lifetime and um they're, they're pretty poor people really you know they didn't do very well out of it all i have to say because you see there's room for us all you don't have to crawl over anyone else to uh, get the so-called plum job plum jobs are all around us right it's to do with your attitude doesn't matter what you do for a living if you pot plants or wash cars or or you're a, a plumber or a carpenter or a, a prime minister or a, a queen or any of these things as long as you do your best and enjoy the job and finish off with a bag of crisps says alan brown absolutely and because uh, you get choice you see you think mm, are we feeling like a wee salt and vinegar or are we feeling like maybe just already salted or are we wanting to be a bit more adventurous are we feeling like maybe a paprika stuff you didn't use to get can i only go back to the wee bag of shake and salts uh, salt and shake uh, do you think we ruth davidson will be pm says kenny gray who knows kenny i mean i i can't predict these things um i'd be surprised if they last much longer i mean i just look you see politics goes in cycles and um you know you can tell once they're all cleaned up then it's maybe time to go and leave all the hot tatties scotty you probably get asked this all the time but your phone ends years ago i love them I'd love to see you back on the air on a weeknight or something on Scottish Radio. It was a great phone-in. Gavin, uh, I would love to do a phone-in. I have spoken to one or two of the bosses, but you don't hear back from them. You know, they're so busy putting songs into their computer. They think, oh, oh, oh. Scotty McClue's been on the phone asking if he could go and do a show at night. Well, I think I will just we'll leave that one just now. Just let him float. Well, he's also sent an email. I don't, don't answer, don't answer that. Don't answer that. Just pretend you're no in. Sit it out, sit it out. Because, you know, we'd rather not have a huge audience. We're all right with the wee audience that we've got listening. You know, we've got two or three thousand listening. So that'll do us. We don't want a quarter of a million or 80,000 or 100,000 at night. Because it just means phone calls and people complaining and asking when we're going to sack them and no 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 i think we'll i think we'll just try and brush that one under the carpet a wee bit all that kind of nonsense that's what goes on you know uh, scotty for pm says kenny gray but there is a job out there for mcclue trust me it will happen you know god willing weather permitting i've had a good good 30 years of work left in me so there's jobs out there for McClue, senior stuff that we can be doing, looking after people. Scotty, um, Craig Nickel, yes, thank you do. Scotty, uh, Merry Christmas to you and all the dogs, says Julia Diamond, and to you, Julia, and your lovely dogs as well. You're too PC these days, says Gavin. Absolutely, Gavin. I mean, everybody loved that show. What used to amuse me when they used to phone and say, it's a brilliant show if we're a, a proper presenter. Yes, <laughs> all that stuff. Are you doing a pop-up for a bit tomorrow, says Steve. We might, Steve. We'll see how Christmas Day goes. We've done a few um, this week. You don't look a day over 55, Scotty, says Sue White. I'm actually, I'm 54, Sue, so that's quite good to know. Uh, truck driver, says Daniel. Watt. Yes, a truck driver. There's an excellent job. And, of course, great McClue listening. Sandy Howden. Hi, Scotty. Sorry I'm late. I get held up by a remoner. So there you are. Well, I'm surprised there are any of these, Sandy. Trust you to find the one remoner, you know. Uh, if you're talking about remainers, there's plenty of them, Sandy. I think you're talking about 99% of the population now would like to remain. So it sounds like it's just you that's wanting out of Europe. Because if you read the British government's pamphlet just before the referendum, they're urging us, begging us, almost insisting that we remain in Europe. So, what's changed, Sandy?
You tell me. There you go. Dave Shearer's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. What a top man. Stuart Buchan. And uh, lovely to hear from you, Stuart. I, I missed mine out, Scotty, says Grant Thompson. So there you are. Lovely to hear from you, Grant. Great to have you with us. Have a great day, you top man. Love for me and Daniel, says Dave Shearer. Fantastic. Dave Shearer is a real top man out in Australia there. And Daniel is his absolute uh, top man of a son. So dinky do to all you guys. Lovely to have you with us. I think you should replace Alex Salmond on LBC, says David Fraser. Yes, LBC would be a good place for McClure. McClure's pop-up response to the Queen's speech, says Alan Brown. Or do the McClure speech. There we are, pop-up at three o'clock and address the world. No, I wouldn't do that. You can't upstage Her Majesty. Happy Christmas, mate, says Rod Hardesty, one of the finest four-ups and producers in the country. A great man uh, with his own classical program, Classics We Love. And uh, there you are. It's classics You Love. I'll need to get it right. But uh, you'll hear that on a lot of radio stations. Rod is an excellent broadcaster, a very fine classical music presenter. Uh, Scotty, were you not in fourth two when I was a young lad, says Ryan David Scott. I was indeed Ryan David Scott. I was in fourth two for many years on a Sunday between 10 o'clock and 12 midday. So there we are, two hour phone in in the morning, the fourth two phone in. What a fantastic program. Uh, quite hot stuff at times, quite heated for the morning. Uh, the RSPCA are in force tonight. There's thousands of links about says Ian. Well, lots of links. Yes, I'll send you a couple of links. Gordon Elric's watching Dinky Doo. James Cottus, lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, folks, no matter where in the world you're watching, you're watching the World Stop broadcaster, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, and apparently missing from this year's honours list. Tut, tut, tutity, tut, tutity, tut, 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 tut. So there we go. Never mind. Um, my dad used to listen to you when we stayed in Sight Hill in Edinburgh. So right, was like, yes, absolutely. Fourth two on a Sunday morning. Magic radio um, from Sunday to Thursday. So I would uh, do my Scottish show in the morning and then drive down to Sheffield. And uh, we'd uh, do the magic show. And then I would come up and do the Kelly on Radio Clyde on a Saturday night. So there we go. Marvellous stuff. Uh, Eric McKenzie, lovely to have you with us. Good evening, Scotty. It says Andy Hughes, lovely to have you with us, Andy. So if there are any radio um, people listening tonight, then uh, get my clue back on there. We've got a good 30 years to do, and we'll build you up the phone ends, and we'll build you up the programs, do a bit of jocking for you as well. Excellent stuff. Michael Yule's watching. Dinky do, Michael. Lovely to have you with us. So there we go. Um, I can just hear the radio stations now. That's Scotty McClure on the phone. He's looking for one. What do we say to him? What do we tell him? So there we go. The guy in fourth two on a Sunday morning. There we are. Um, doesn't want prisoners getting up to do the toilet in the night. They don't deserve it, he says. So there you are. What do you think yourself, Sandy? I think of a human being. It has to answer a call of nature. Uh, what about the poor? Are the poor's not there? I loved your pat on a night on real radio, says Kenny Gray. Excellent stuff, yes. And all the centuries, century in the northwest, century in the northeast, century in the Midlands and Yorkshire. Fantastic stuff. Colin Edwards is watching. Thank you, Colin. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Marvellous stuff. And um, we may be going to tune later as well, folks. We've got that sorted out, so you might get a tune. You're watching Scotty McClure. Let me know where you're watching. If you're watching around the globe, if you're in Canada, Australia, America, Russia, China, Japan, the Arctic, the Antarctic, South America, and wait for it. One, two, the Tierra del Fuego. After two. One, two. What a place that is, Scotty. The Tierra del Fuego. There were fires break out on a frozen landscape. How fabulous. So if you're watching in the Tierra del Fuego, come on and let us know. If you're watching in Scotland, let us know. If you're watching in London, let us know. If you're watching in America, anybody in New York, anybody in Washington, do let us know. Alan Brown, I know you're in Washington. You're in Washington, D.C. So there we go. Cleland, says Paul McCurry. And we love Cleland. What a great place. A fine place full of fine people. The miners, 
from Cleland. I know that was some time ago. And you've got some famous stars from Cleland as well. Um, Glasgow, says Kenny Gray. Excellent. Watching from Court Bridge. Think you do, says Ryan David Scott. Of course. And Stephen Wearmouth from the North East. Stephen's watching in the North East. Are you County Durham? Uh, Stephen is a treat. I uh, County Durham. No problem at all. Now, uh, Barnton's. Oh, Barnton. Very, very nice, David. So there you are. And uh, you need a couple of million quid to uh, even go into Barnton, I think. Far less by house. I'm watching from Preston in Lancashire, says Brian Keswick. Good for you, Brian. Preston, I say, the Preston Guild, 1992. 25 years uh, it is this year since uh, Scotty McClue started on Red Rose Gold. Happy Crimber to you, Scotty. We're in Torrance, says Charles. McLaughlin, yes, lovely part of the world, Tons, I know it well. Um, Washington, D.C., representing as often as I can, says Alan Brown proudly. So there we are, truly a global show, the Scotty McClue Christmas Eve special, just for you. We're a little bit late in starting, but spread the word. Now, have we had a share? Share, 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 share. Our first share of the night, I shall do it as well here. As we speak, so let me just move you along a little bit. Can you see me there? Can you see Santa's little helper broadcasting live? Do you like the jumper? Just for you, think you do. And uh, we'll see if we can get this sorted out here. I couldn't believe that the connection's been working superbly all day. Come nine o'clock, click the button. Oh, you have no connection. You have no connection. So there we go. Anyway, not to worry. See, when you don't own the network, this is what happens. I'll tell you that. Um, but also, I can tell you what happens when you do own the network. <laughs> right. That's us. There we go. And uh, we're just uh, sharing it. Merry Christmas, Facebook friends and neighbours. There's Gavin McCoy getting a share. Excellent stuff. We'll just share them live on the programme. Why not? And let's get McClue shared out as well. Dinky-doo to every single one of you. Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you on the Christmas Eve special. I hope you're going to have a lovely day today. What time did you hit the shops? Uh, I remember you from Red Rose Gold. I used to listen to you every night, says Brian. Many excellent Scotty. Share your McClue's pies. Paul Crookshanks is watching. What have we got here? Somebody's making a very good point. I think they should legalise cannabis drinkers worse. Don't be ridiculous. Blue passports, total waste of money. I think Burgundy is a much better colour. And a European passport is so much more powerful than, uh, than obviously, just a wee British passport. Uh, Jim Wilson, Dinky Do, Gordon Smith, Andy Hood. Good evening, Santa, says Jim Wilson. Good evening to you, Jim. Lovely to have you with us. Let's get this shit. What is going on here? Who's in charge here? Um, now, what have you brought the dogs for Christmas, Scotty? Oh, you got a wee selection box with some different C-H-E-W-Y-S, or is it W-I-E-S? Right, I've got to spell it. You see, those of you who have got um, D-O-G-S will know what I'm talking about here. You must spell it. You can't just get up and say you're going out for a W-A-L-K. You've got to spell it out, you see. Otherwise, the ears flap. Or you can't uh, say that you're going to have a cup of tea and a B-I-S-C-U-I-D. Otherwise, the ears flap. You know what I mean? You only have to touch the top of the digestives and oh, you can hear tail thumping going on across the house. Think you do for Alawa in the wee county. We love Alawa. Excellent stuff. Scotty, if you could play a tune from The Exorcist on the Swedish box. <laughs> what a dafty. Uh, throwing away money, that's what it is. There's too much throwing away money. Alfred James Wright was up in Perth watching the Jambos. So there we are. This is my story. This is my song, Sandy. Sing your heart out. Um, loving the hearts of the... He was going to do it to the hips, Ken. And, uh, I mean, I'm a wreath man, Ken. So, uh no yeah, problem, you know, uh, all that stuff. You hear, you hear all that, don't you? Uh, what do you think about the Coatbridge Food Bank getting broken into? That was shocking. Absolutely shocking. Is fox hunting banned next year? Fox hunting's banned anyway, Ian. Where did you get that from? Ah, there's my clue. Excellent stuff. We'll just share that. Tremendous. We're watching from shots, says Andy. 
Have you seen the film God Save the Girl, set in Glasgow? Lovely film, says John McDonough. I haven't seen it, John, but I shall look into that. That sounds incredible. So there we go. Now, 2018 is going to be a very, very big year for Scotty McClue. So there you go. And uh, Jonathan Welch, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. Your house looks lovely. I thought you lived in a prefab. I do, Kenny. Yes, back and front door. Very nice. And this is all prefab. I'll be taking this down tonight when I finish the programme. The Colt Bridge community came together and helped to get the food bank back up and running. Good for the Colt Bridge community. But the wee um, rascals that did it, actually, somebody needs to have a word with them. You know, I mean, they're obviously very, very, very misguided. I'm just going to share it to the group as well, guys. I'll share this out to the group and we'll get you all on. Um, Jason Connolly's watching East Kilbride, loving a bit of it, Scotty, says Alan McMillan, up in East Kilbride. How fantastic to have you with us, all the way from East Kilbride. Share on your timeline, share in a group. There we go. And um, I, I know I share a lot, guys, but it's just to keep you up to date. As I say, I don't own the network, so that's always going to be a bit of a problem. But having said that, it's pretty fantastic stuff. This is show number 67. Now remember, it started as a wee laugh. I just clicked the live button for a few minutes one night. And then the next thing is we are in business. If you want Scotty McClure to advertise your business, there's a big name for you. Get it sorted out. Don't think you can't afford it because we can always chit chat, right? I'm always very equable when it comes to discussing fees. I don't do it for nothing. And I'll tell you why I don't do it for nothing. You wouldn't phone the plumber and say, could you come round and fix the heating? Uh, my share button's not working, says Ryan David Scott. Please don't tell me that we've got that. It must be. So there we are. I think I've just shared. So it must actually work. Let me try it again. Share to a page. We'll share to uh, Scotty McClure's page. See if we can get that going. And uh, we'll get that sorted. Can everybody share, guys? Very, very important. And um, I'm going to post and just hope this takes. Yep, successfully, it says. You've successfully shared this. Dinky do, Sean, says Ron Stewart. Just a tip. If you repeat the word share in your posts, Facebook will give you less audience on your feed. Ah, something to do with the Facebook robots. Now, that's very interesting, Gavin, because I've wondered why we're not going out to millions and somebody said, no, 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 it could be being kept down. So there you are, you know. So excellent stuff. Do you know any plumbers? Says Alan McMillan. Yes, yes, lots of plumbers. But, you know, if you ring them and you say, look, I've got no money, so I can't afford to pay if you come around to fix the heating. They go, well, I'll not be coming then. But they say, you know, to uh, people like myself, showbiz people, film stuff, would you like to make a wee speech? We've not got any money, but it'd be lovely to have you. It's <laughs> it always amuses me. My network's terrible. I'll swap to another network and share, says Ryan David Scott. Kirkcaldy got a new bus stop today. Now the town's deserted. Because <laughs> you can a boy. Who can's a boy? I'll tell you, James Bauer is watching. Think you do, James? Martin Monaghan's watching. Martin, fantastic. Martin, do one of your marvellous shares for me, will you? And uh, tell the world, Scott Beattie's watching Dinky Doo. So there you go. But it's still a great platform to be on, guys, with 10,000 of you this week. Tremendous. Everett Clifford's watching in the United States of America. Where are you again, Everett? You just give us the state. You don't actually have to give us your house number or anything like that. But let us know what state you're in. Happy Christmas, Scotty, from East Kilbride Taxi Owners Association. From Jim Lindsay and Gavin at the TOA in East Kilbride. So there we are. We can it, says Alan McMillan. Kerry Duncan's watching Dinky Doo. Elaine Gelthorpe. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. We should be going out to 1.8 billion people. But if some bot, so there we are. That's the polite word. A bot, a robot, is, um, is keeping the, the numbers down for whatever reason. Then we need to sort that out. We need to get multi-platform. Good friend of mine, Scotty, Pat Rowling, the comedian, does a lot of work for uh, through Spirit Aid to help the less fortunate kids at this time of year. Pat deserves a medal for all the good work he does. Yes, he does. I know Pat Rowling and, um, very well, and I've interviewed him on the radio. A fine fellow. 
Thanks to Pat for all his good works. Very much appreciated. Hi, Scotty. Merry Christmas, says Gerald Mackay. My dad listens to your YouTube stuff in Whitburn and laughs his head off, says Ryan David Scott. And a dinky do, Scotty, from Ayrshire tonight from the wee tune of Irvin. Merry Xmas. Defo miss the airwaves, Mr. says Alan McMillan. I know we must get back on a big radio or television station. I would like to do television. I mean, I know I'm not exactly an oil painting. But that's nothing to do with it. If somebody's got a problem with Scotty McClure, that's their problem, I see. So there you are. But I think a television, a national television program, half an hour. Always remember somebody, a very, very wise senior person, said that if Lou Grade had been alive today, Scotty McClure would never be off our television screens. He'd be bigger than Markham and Wise. What about that? Scotty, what about the madman that's trying to bring wolves and bears back to the highlands? My camping days are over. Only if you don't communicate with wolves and bears. If you communicate well, you've got to watch the bear, even when you get on very well with a big brown bear. They've got these big claws that could still rip you right open just with a fingernail. But, um, you know, they're quite chummy. You'll see a guy cuddling a brown bear and uh, he's going, whoa, stop it, you know, because the bear's going, oh, hello, and patting him in the back with these big claws, you know, all that stuff. They are wonderful. But if you get on well with animals, what radio station would you like us to email? So it says David Fraser, what would you reckon? I'll tell you, if you want a real brilliant radio station for Scotland, BBC Radio Scotland. Great coverage. I've always, always, always admired the BBC for their technical side. The technical side is brilliant. And I've been privileged enough to actually work at the BBC. And uh, on the times when I did work there, they've got a superb staff who can do all sorts of wonderful things technically. So the show would sound absolutely outstandingly brilliant. We just need to uh, get the idea to the high hegens at the BBC. Uh, so there you are. Scotty, get on the box. That's rubbish that's on just now. You'd still teach them about ratings. Anyone want a taxi? Is a James Power up in East Kilbride. All the best captains of George Raffin. Every one of them. This guy is missed, says Alan McMillan. Dinky do, Alan. Lovely to have you with us. I'm with you, Gav. So there we go. Right, if you want to actually tell them all at the BBC, BBC Radio Scotland, get the Scotty McClue show on. You can either do the mornings or the evenings. Whatever suits, not a problem. Scotty, do you still do the CDs and are they for sale? I haven't done one since we did it at Century Radio, Neil. So there you are. And uh, think about it, next week it's 18 years since you and I were live at the Millennium. Neil Tipping, a wonderful producer. Ha ha! Never read it, says Gavin. There we are. You're a legend, Scotty. So there we go. The Scotty CD, the best of Scotty McClue. Uh, I don't know if it's still available. And the video, of course, uh, an audience with Scotty McClue. We sold thousands upon thousands of that video. Tremendous. One big family, dinky do, says Ron. Yes, uh, we need to speak to the Facebook um, bots and say to them, open yourselves up, guys. McClue needs to be going out to 1.8 billion people. So there we are. And they would do very well out of it as well, I tell you. Remember Hercules, the bear that went missing for weeks and weeks in the Highlands, ended up the found him in Kirkcaldy, greeting to come home. That's right, I always remember when my missus got kidnapped and uh, the thieves wanted five million pounds. And uh, that was at nine o'clock in the morning, but lunchtime it was a tenner. And in the afternoon they were phoning up, begging us to come and pick it up. Think you do, Scotty, get the radio, tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten. So there we are. And excellent stuff. You never thought about top radio. Your league's better than uh, all, all that lots. And he mentions other presenters. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be so base as to mention the other presenters. Have you booked a festival show? Well, it clashes with other stuff I do. You see, what people don't realize, poor old McClure. I'm maxed out every day. Uh, Work-wise, I have a fantastic um, job and uh, I'm, I'm maxed out uh, at the moment. But if I get a window... The tricks to get broadcasting. We could do a night show. Uh, Kerry Duncan says, lol to kiss Lol to you. Rab Bruce is watching. Dinky do. Now, um, I've got uh, some music for you. I've got the squeeze box. I'll give you a tune on the squeeze box. But I also wondered if you would like a Christmas carol. So there we are because I've also got the... Uh,
also got the pipe organ beside me here. And I could give you a Christmas carol. Excellent stuff. So let me know if you want a Christmas carol. And uh, let me know which one you would like. So there you are. This man is a legend, says Ryan David Scott. I met Hercules at the East Kilbride show. Um, I'm in the hoose. And East Kilbride taxis are available, says Alan McMillan. Get yourselves a taxi, guys. Even if you don't need one. Get out and around about East Kilbride for a wee run. Say, you know, we can spare a tenner. And have a run around. Fantastic. I remember um, a lovely lady when I stayed in the big flat uh, in, 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 in Glasgow and uh, up Mary Hill. And with a lovely lady, she'd been doing the stairs for years and years and years and years and years. And we're talking one day and she said, I never get depressed, son. I never get depressed, she says, because I got a wee bus run. She had her bus pass. And she'd just go on the bus and tour around the, the tune and see what was going. And the rest of the time, she did the stairs. Tremendous. Dean Martin, let it snow. No, I can't actually do sort of official music. I could do you a carol. So there we go. Maybe do you a Hark the Herald Angels sing or something like that. Do you want me to, do you want me to go over and, and, and have a go at it? Wait till we see. Right, wait till we see what we've got here. Okay. Right, I've got the full organ here. So uh, I can uh, give you something. I got a kiss. Mwah, you did get a kiss, Gary Duncan. Jim Morris, thank you, dude. Thomas Draghorn. Uh, watch out for Rain Town in 2018 They're from Glasgow's top band. Scotty, are you having a duck do tomorrow? I am indeed. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Merry Christmas, Scotty, and ahoy for Pompey. So there we are. Evan McCafferty is in Pompey. Fantastic. Right. Time for a wee touch of the um, the barley water. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Once in Royal David City. Right. That one? Was that the one you wanted? Excellent stuff. I love when they start uh, the treble, when it's from King's College in Cambridge. Once in Royal David City stood alone. I can't quite get up there. There we are. Stood a lowly cattle shed where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed. Mary was that other mild, Jesus Christ, a little child. Yes, is that right? Uh, there we are, getting there, big man, no problem at all. Have a Merry Christmas. I hope you get what you want. Bye-bye for now, says Ryan David Scott. Dinky do, Ryan David Scott. Thank you for joining us. Hello, Scotty, says Julianne Scott. So we lose a Scott from Scotland and we gain a Scott from Wales. Can you play Hail Hail, Scotty? Lane, what are you at? What did you get for your carer for Christmas, Scotty? So there you are. Ian, um, you know, she's the same one that looks after you. And the matron's asking for you as well. What's your best Christmas record, Scotty? Oh, you've got me there. Uh, somebody played The Seekers the other day, and I shared it. I know you'll never find another you. What's your favourite Seekers song? Can you go back to that? So there we are. Um... Bad, eh? Uh, what's your favourite tipple? Paul J. Cunningham, two years ago tomorrow, I gave up the sauce. Is that? That's really good playing there. Thank you very much. Uh, Nado Clawen, says Julianne Scott. Have I said that right? Because as you know, my Welsh isn't quite up to scratch. 
that Julie Ann Scott Wright. I'm going to come back round now and bring you back into camera. How's that? Excellent stuff. A shout out for Oakview Manor. Merry Christmas to all the residents and the staff, says Alan McMillan. Yes, a very Merry Christmas to everybody at Oakview Manor. And uh, Santa's hats here. There we go. Excellent stuff. Neil Holgate, dinky do. George Michael last Christmas, says Mark Simpson. Absolutely bless him. The carnival is over and we shall not be moved. Absolutely. Do you remember that one? The lemon tree. Do you remember that one? Morning Town Ride. What about that? Order, order. With the right honourable gentleman, please refrain from singing in the chamber or you will be asked to leave the house. I'm sorry, Mr. Speaker. I'll withdraw that song immediately. Great bit of playing. You should have a shot at the piano in Glasgow Central Station. So Stephen Menzies, I would, I would, you know. Uh, do you have the squeeze box? We have the squeeze box, Gavin, yes. Happy Christmas, Scotty. Dinky-doo. We've got the squeeze box here. So we can also give you a wee, a wee something on the squeeze box if you're stuck. There we go. There is the squeeze box. Okay. <laughs> What about that? Never a dull moment on the Scotty McClue show, I tell you. Good night, Scotty. All the best for tomorrow, says Ron Stewart. Dinky do, Ron. Lovely to have you with us. Need to go. Have a happy Christmas, says James. We all need to go. Uh, anybody want to hang on for five minutes since we're late and starting? Or do you want to push off just now? What suits you? Do let me know. Uh, ha ha, bravo, says Gavin. Absolutely bravissimo to your good self as well, Gavin. Lovely to have you with us. Now, guys, I hope you have a great Christmas. Those of you who are leaving us right now, thank you for joining us. It's been lovely to be with you. Thank you for a fantastic year on the Facebook Live shows. We're at show number 67. This, the Christmas Eve special, is the 67th show with me, Scotty McClue, saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. A very Merry Christmas, Scotty. Play the Allo Allo theme. Fantastic. Where are your glasses, Scotty? Um, they broke the other day, and I've got uh, little Captain Mannering-style glasses. Uh, so there you are. I'll put them on and do uh, my Captain Mannering for you. <coughs> there we are. Right, for the men in, Wilson. Don't be ridiculous, Pike, you stupid boy. Come on, Walker, put that cigarette out. There we are. That's my Captain Manry impersonation for you from Dad's Army. And uh, nearly lights out, says Ian Walker. It is indeed longer, says Steve Burrows. No, no, we do have to go. But uh, it's been wonderful to be with you all. And uh, I hope you have a great Christmas. Let me know what you're doing. Judith Durham, the voice of an angel, says Alfred James Wright. Yes, wonderful, wonderful lady, super singer. Your apology has been accepted. Um, so there we are. And... <laughs> <laughs> in Walker doing his nut. So there we are. Hope you like the Captain Manning. Stay till midnight. So there we go, says Steph Mack. Uh, I'll be here as long as you are. Have a great Christmas, Scotty, says Charles McLachlan. Charles, what a super program it's been tonight. And of course, go on sharing and sharing and sharing. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's talking about. And the one everyone is watching. Incredible. Uh, over 10,000 of you this week. So there we are. And I had a half wit the other night going on about, what, 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 are, you, what are you doing this for? All that sort of stuff. They just do not get it. It's Christmas Day in Australia, the same as here. Um, or is it the next day? Is it Christmas Day in Australia? Well, okay, if you're in Australia and you're watching right now, can you tell us when exactly is it Christmas Day or have you had Christmas Day, because I remember getting a call from New Zealand when I was doing the Scotty McClue Hogmanay bash on the radio, and the guy said, no, no, it's, all, it's already New Year, We've, we we did all this yesterday. Merry Christmas, Scotty, I've just finished my three-month cleaning out the dust from inside the PC. Do you know, a friend of mine was fixing my PC, and he said, have you got a Hoover, Scotty? And I thought he'd made a mess, you see, so I said, no, don't you worry about that, I'll uh, I'll get that, just you carry on. They went, no, have you got a hoover? I said, no, 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 no. As I say, don't worry. It doesn't matter. I'll hoover all that up. And said, no, have you got a hoover? I want 
to hoover out the computer. <laughs> so there, always a pleasure listening to you, Scotty. Have a very Merry Christmas. I'm off now. This is Brian Keswick. Brian Keswick, thank you so much for your viewership. Have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas from me, Scotty McLeod, from the rest of the people around the world. And hopefully the bots will realise the value of this programme to the network and they will open up the game and get us 1.8 billion. If we have access to 1.8 billion, also if they all want to send us a quid for GoFundMe, that would be helpful. Um, on your sleigh, says Julia Diamond. Julia, it's L. S-L-E-I-G-H. I need to get on my sleigh. It's Christmas Day in Oz. My brother's gone for Christmas, says Steve Burrows. Scotty, come on and hug me and give us a, a Jonathan Watson impression. Jonathan's a great friend of mine. We were students together. So there we are. I couldn't do the wonderful stuff he does. They're tremendous. What a skill. And two lovely kisses from Julia Diamond. Two kisses back to Jules. Lovely, lovely stuff, I say. Right. Um, it's just about push-off time. So there we are. Uh, for the kids, Scotty, when Santa gets stuck up the chimney. Santa gets stuck up the chimney. I'll tell you, talking of the kids, you will see a replay of the phone-in for our younger listeners. So you'll see that up on Facebook. You get it on YouTube. Scotty McClue, um, Christmas phone-in for younger listeners. And you can have a listen to that. It was Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, I think it would be 22 years ago. Uh, Merry Christmas from my home to yours. Much love, says Gordon Cruden. And you, Gordon, dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with us. And thanks for your banter earlier. Kenny Duncan, Hogmanay. Two hours. Scotty, get your kilt on for Hogmanay. Yes, I've just come down from the Isle of Skye. I'm no very big and I'm awful shy. Uh, now, sir, you're under oath, so not the song, or you'll lose your seat. So there you are. Right, I don't care. I shall give up my seat. I would rather sing to the world. So we shall sing the goodbye song. It's just about time to go, guys. Uh, so excellent stuff. I hope you've enjoyed the programme. Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for being with us, of course. Ciao, ciao, Scotty, and everybody watching. Have a great Christmas, says Evan McCafferty. So there we are. Are we ready? <clears throat> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A wait a zane au revoir. And a cheery O. From me, Scotty McClue, and everyone around the world, I wish every single one of you a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Have a great time. Look after the less fortunates and, uh, you know, take a refreshment off the more fortunates. All that sort of stuff. And uh, we'll hopefully see you very soon. We might even do something uh, tomorrow. And if not, we'll do something around Hogmanay. Excellent stuff. This is Scotty McClue saying to every single one of you on Facebook Live, whether you're watching or whether you just wish you were, take care and dinky-doo. Scotty McClue has left the building. Happy Christmas, everybody! Yo-ho-ho! -ho!